How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Vora Motors. I'm AJ Hart, and today I'm visited by Paul and May, who run Sever Break Free. Hi, AJ. Great Hi. to be here. It's, have, I'm glad to have you both <laughs> the mic still. AJ, great to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to have you both here. It's cool to have you two both visiting. Now, you two both co-operate and own a scooter store. Right. Why don't you tell me a little bit about Sever? So Sever is a scooter and board shop that's located in Boulder City, Nevada. Mm -hmm. uh, we're at 1402 Boulder City Parkway. And we're about 20, 25 minutes away from Las Vegas. And the shop sells what we describe as micro mobility concepts, uh, personal electric vehicles, and then also personal electric watercraft. Um, so we do e-scooters, e-boards, and also electric stand-up paddle boards, e-sups. We opened up a brick and mortar, mortar shop in January this year. Oh, really? That's really new. Yeah, so before we opened, we've been doing this for, like I said, two and a half years, just going to events and, and whatnot, and then we've expanded because we saw more opportunities come up with um, other board companies and people wanting, wanting us to support us in expansion. Now, what makes Sever a little bit different than most walk-in, buy your scooter, and leave shops? I think one thing that distinguishes us is the fact that we're just all electric, and that's what we specialize in. And then with, if you come to us, you can try all of our scooters and all of our boards and before you buy it. So you, you try it before it. you ride. Yeah. So you can just go in, rent the scooter for a little bit, take it for an hour, and then be like, oh, I actually do like this, or oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Okay. And we're, we're maybe a little too generous. We don't let people just come and ride them for free, and we don't even rent them. Oh, really? Yeah, they'll okay. take them out. So. I mean, you've got to love if you're going to buy something that's over $1,000, right? Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, we've had customers come from all over the southwest, western part of the United States, just to write and compare our inventory of scooters and what we sell. Now, of all of the scooters that you have in your store, what ended up making you reach out to eMove and Vora? When we were comparing the specs of different scooters, uh, your guys' scooter specs stood out to us. You know, that was kind of an empty gap of trying to find a scooter that can go 62 miles, that can deliver the same range capabilities as an e-bike and compete with an e-bike in range, but at the same time be more portable and lightweight than an e-bike. Mm -hmm. um, and you guys filled that for us. Yeah, and we, we started with a lot of lightweight scooters with you know the weight capacity of 250 or less. Mm -hmm. So we needed to move up a little bit, have a bigger scooter for bigger people and go just as fast and just as strong. Yeah, we just recently had a customer that's 6'5", 259 pounds, purchase an e-vehicle from us. Did you recommend the Cruiser or the Touring? So I, uh, I recommended the Cruiser. Okay. But now that I know the information that we were talking about earlier, <laughs> the Touring would have been a better recommendation. Yeah, for sure. We've got a um, lot of heavier riders that say they really like the Touring. Of the customers that you've had come in, how have they really responded towards the e-move, Touring, and Cruiser? They've been very impressed with the speed and the acceleration. Um, most of the time, after we have them ride it, they end up telling us, oh, I'm going to put it on the one setting until I can grow into this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, have, uh, we had another customer recently purchase one from us two weeks ago that um, he uh, used to race bullet bikes. Uh, oh, really? Street bikes. He uh, wanted something to do with his son because he felt like his son was sitting too much during COVID. Mm -hmm. So... He gravitated to the E-Move Cruiser for the larger deck, more mm. space for him to stand and share the deck with his son. Oh, that's cute. So yeah. they ride together, and now they enjoy more things together than they would have before, and he talks to us about that. I know that I've seen a lot of people in our online community, they've actually rigged up a kitty bar to the front of the cruiser for that reason, so that they can have somebody just standing right there with something to hold on to. We, we definitely need, the, need to look at maybe getting that product. <laughs> <laughs> How and why did you two start Sever? You know, it all started a couple of years ago when um, I, I was working for a local government agency that's involved with transit, and um, we had Bird or Lime, I can't remember which company it was, that was lobbying the agency on opening up potentially to e-scooter rentals. And it was my first time I ever rode an e-scooter before. And when I rode it, I was like, man, this thing's fun. And, and I, I immediately... Getting home, I talked to May about it, and I was like, 
gotta we gotta ride these. These are cool. Let's let's look, let's see if we can buy one. Mm -hmm. And we started researching online. Then we discovered that there were collapsible e-scooters, and I was like, wow, they even fold up, and that's even better. Yeah. So we ordered our first e-scooter, and it was a it was a U-scooter uh, Booster S Plus, and we started riding around on that thing, and then that just opened up all sorts of new excitement for us that has evolved into what Sever is today. And you said the Sever Sever has been around for how long? It's been around for two and a half years now. Gotcha. Um, we started online and then just recently opened up the store. Yeah, we were doing events and. We, what really triggered our interest in doing a business is we saw the benefits to the uh, scooters. Um, the fact that they're portable, they're easy to use, and they're just convenient. And they're so much more useful than renting them because you know that you're going to have a scooter there when you need it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be gone after you get to your destination. The other thing, you know that it's maintained and properly uh, treated, or uh, treated properly, and main, and you know, you just, it's better quality overall. Now, one thing I'm kind of curious about is I know that I do a lot of my riding out here in LA and when I want a nice relaxing ride, I go check out a bunch of the murals over in the art district. What kind of rides do you find a lot of people enjoy out in Vegas? So it, it varies on the user. We, uh, we, our favorite ride, we're biased since we live in Boulder City and our shops in Boulder City. We absolutely love riding in Boulder City. There's a beautiful historic area to ride through town. Traffic's calm, scenery's nice. It's a couple degrees cooler than Vegas, mm -hmm. being 25 minutes away from Vegas and at a higher elevation. And then there's also a beautiful lake overview at the top of the town that we love to take riders to. Some of the most exciting rides though that we also have done that we love doing, uh, you know, especially in Las Vegas area, we love going downtown near Fremont Street. But, and then uh, behind our store, there's a bunch of trails there's the Mountain Loop Trail. Yeah, we, we just love, we love riding to a restaurant and folding up our gear and just taking it inside. And, and he, this is why she's awesome to have around. <laughs> she reminds me of the things I should be doing. <laughs> she's great. Anyway, so <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and then uh, another area we loved riding, we, we took him up to Lake Tahoe. Yeah, and that was fun. That was just so many trails, so beautiful, and already a community that's friendly and accepting of e-scooters because they have the rentals spread out there. Um, I can tell you a quick story about an exciting ride. Yeah, let me hear it. So my daughter that's six, uh, it was around 9 p.m. Yeah, irresponsible parent. Should have put her to sleep, but took her out on a ride with me. The other kids <laughs> stayed there, though. So we went out riding down the path pathway there in South Tahoe, and we came up to the McDonald's that's off the main drag there where the path forks mm -hmm. the one that ran parallel to the uh, road was lit the one to the right that took you to the beach of the lake was dark and I was like hey we should ride down this path to my daughter and she was not excited about it she said that looks too scary I don't I don't really want to do that and I'm like oh come on so I persuaded her into doing it so we went down the dark path and we came across some picnic tables they're on a strip of grass between the path and the parking lot and between those picnic tables, this trash can was tipped over, and I immediately got terrified because I knew, because we had lived in Alaska, we knew that that meant that there was a bear in the area. Mm -hmm. this, I'm trying to process where this bear is at. Is it behind us? Is it in front of us? Immediately, we see this big black bear just cross the path right in front of us. Like about, a whole ass bear. Yes. Like a bear bear. <laughs> like a bear bear, about as far as where the camera is from us right now, just walk across the path into the wilderness and then immediately my daughter and I just went the opposite direction <laughs> and you just went the opposite direction <laughs> yep we went the opposite direction and luckily the bear had no interest in us but it was the awesomest e-scooter uh, ride memory we've ever had so that's so cool so you've mentioned a lot of trail riding right what are some of your favorite scooters to take out on the trails and why so I definitely love to take the e-move cruiser because of the power the range and then also the lighting we do a lot of night riding and the visibility that comes with the lights really helps mm -hmm. um, because a lot of scooters don't have that much lighting that comes stock with um, I, If I'm not riding that or if I'm not riding the Fido with my baby, I like the GT from U-Scooters. 
with that being said, I know that we brought you in today so that we could help you kind of learn a couple lessons about working on those scooters, yeah. getting them all fixed up and repaired so you can get back out on the trails again. What has been the working relationship with Voro like for you? We love you guys. Love you. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we just appreciate how responsive you guys are to our inquiries and when we need information or parts or whatnot. Um, you guys are there talking to us and communicating with us through the process, even though at times during COVID, it's kind of com made logistics a little more complex and getting parts mm -hmm. timely and whatnot. And it's just important to have that support and that communication continuously. Yeah, you guys always kept us updated. Even if we weren't going to get the part or the scooters for a couple of weeks, you guys always were willing to update us and send us videos. Look, your stuff is being packed or, you know, pictures. I love that. Yeah. And we're more than happy to do that. You know, we want to make sure that all of you dealers understand what's going on here at the store or here at the shop so that you can kind of plan accordingly for your stores. Yeah. With that being said, I think we're at a good spot to kind of wrap up and get you two downstairs for those lessons. Okay. So with that being said, are there any closing remarks that you want to give out? Any plugs that you want to mention so that people can hunt you down on the Internet? We are in, on Instagram. Uh, Sever Break Free and on Facebook, Sever Break Free. And you can call us at 702-358-2762. And we also have a mission statement we'd like to share with you guys. Let's hear it. People always ask us, well, what does Sever mean? Some pronounce it Sever, others Sever. Um, we pronounce it Sever, and this is why. Sever is how we describe the process of leaving the transportation norms of today's society to increase fun reduce transportation costs, eliminate emissions, adopt minimalism, improve outdoor recreation, and ultimately break free. It's pronounced as sever, meaning to separate. So, AJ, this has just been an awesome experience for us being here with you guys. It's, we feel starstruck being here. <laughs> we see your videos all the time, and you guys just do such a great job, and you know, we appreciate it your guys' influence on the industry as micro-mobility continues to grow and, and take off here throughout our country. Yeah, we're happy to keep growing. You know, this is a really cool and growing market, and it's really cool to see what everybody's doing to kind of make their ride specific and make sure that these things can be the future, right? Like, yeah. it's, it, nothing's just given and nothing's set in stone. The companies that are coming up right now, we need to be on the ball so that people can see them as an actual option moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and sign off. Uh, we'll look at that way back camera over there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this video helps, and I hope you enjoy your ride. That's Bye. It. Bye. Bye. Bye.